From broken purposes emerge a new will. Welcome to the Abyss Garden, a secluded land where we create endless pathways, unique cars made to inspire your stories. And today we are kind of coming back from some kind of hiatus, so I've been away for some time, and uh, in this time, during these adventures, I kind of decided to try something that I've never really tried before, which is to try to mimic other artists' creations and try to learn from them. And so I ended up spending some, uh, some time on that, trying to reproduce some parts of different creations and different artworks, setting myself a tiny timer of 20 minutes and see how I could uh, try to recreate the essence of these different uh, illustrations. And I'm kind of happy with it. I always had a hard time kind of creating humanoid creatures and uh, to work with usual bodies and shapes that we see around us. And I feel like I might have gotten a better sense of how to do that for the future. But anyway, so as I'm coming back, I kind of decided on a few tiny changes for the daily pathways and the daily uh, videos that I was putting out there. And one of the, these first changes is to try to have more of these uh, mimicking doodles. And so I kind of settled on the idea to have one week, uh, to have every second week be dedicated to that. And for the other week, which is the one that uh, started just now. I'm continuing on with the different uh, characters and the different scenes from the Abyss Garden. But I kind of wanted it to be a bit more streamlined and to be a bit more focused. And so what I will be doing starting now is that for every week where I do these doodles from the Abyss Garden, I will kind of create a new character and try to follow its adventures for the next few days, each time drawing a random card from our collection and see where it leads me. So today's doodle that you should see in the background was inspired by a pathway called the bait, which states that there are trinkets which attraction can't be repelled. And so I had a few ideas for it. First, initially I was a bit puzzled on how to create a character from this initial pathway. But then I remember that in the Abyss Garden there are some trinkets that have grown to become kind of important in the background story of the garden. And these trinkets are these four scales that used to hang on a character called the Occultist. And after some adventures, basically the Occultist lost its different scales. And at the moment, it's trying to recollect them, to find them in the garden. And so, along the different scenes, we discovered uh, two of these scales in on different places. But we still had one or two that were missing. And so I thought it was a good occasion to kind of uh, make one of these missing scales appear again. And so, from that, I kind of envisioned this scale being somehow isolated in some kind of contraption. And with this idea came these ancient slumbering robots. I went for this idea of the scale being in some kind of shell, emerging from the robots. And in order to turn that into a creature, what I pictured was some ruins, some remains of these robots that would somehow get attracted to this scale and slowly take the shape of a new creature which energy comes from this scale. And so that's what I went for here. I'm not exactly I'm not exactly sure about the design of this character. I'm kind of so so about it. But you know, it's my first trial doing this uh, these versions of the doodles. And in order to add some intrigue to the scene, I kind of decided to add this seedling with this aura above its head. 
So it's one of the two seedlings that used to travel around with the, with the king before the king's death. They were called the seedlings advisors. And so now we kind of find it coming towards this new character. And I feel like it might be of some help to kind of add some story and to make this character travel a bit. And so that's how I ended up with this overall scene. And well, there you have it. And from this uh, tiny scene, we end up with a new pathway, which is called the Rebel's Child, and which says that from broken purposes emerge a new will. Feel free to share your thoughts with me on it. Let me know how you would use this new card for your own creative endeavors. In the meantime, have a nice day, and I'll see you soon for a new pathway.